The aggregate is an entity or group of entities that is always kept in a consistent state. And the aggregate root is the entity within the aggregate that is responsible for maintaining that state. Now, wait a minute. Did you get what I just said? Now, honestly, the first time I heard it, it made absolutely no sense to me either. Um, so let's try again. The aggregate can be viewed as the domain entity on the right or command side of a CQRS in event sourcing based application or service, similar to the domain entity that you find on the read or query side. Now, when you create your aggregate class, you will see that it is difficult at first glance to view the aggregate as a domain entity because unlike the domain entity on the read side, it is not a simple plain old c -sharp object that contains only state and no behavior. The important thing to understand is that the fundamental differences in its structure is due to the fundamental difference in how the data is stored in the right database or event store versus how it is stored in the read database. The read side is simple. One instance of the domain entity represents one record in the read database. The right side is more complex because there we store the data as a sequence of immutable events over time. In other words, we store all state changes and we save these changes in the form of events that are versioned. The design of the aggregate should therefore allow you to be able to use these events to recreate or replay the latest state of the aggregate so that you do not have to query the read database for the latest state, else the hard separation of commands and queries would be in vain.